Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today I'm going to tell you guys about the origin of humanity. That's right, the origin of humanity. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, a long, long time ago, in the area of the earth that we call Iraq today, there sat the daughter of a high priest with her father. The two of them were sitting and talking in the garden behind their home, watching the sun as it set on the horizon. Father, the daughter said, where did the first humans come from if they did not have a mother and father? The high priest looked over at his daughter and grinned. You always ask such deep questions, my child. However, as always, I will endeavor to give you the truth. According to our most ancient records, housed in the temple of Enlil, the origin of humanity is this. The high priest then told his daughter that in the distant past there were no humans upon the earth like there are today. There were only beasts. Some of these beasts, however, walked on two feet and used tools like men, but they were not men. One day, a great ship which could float on the stars came to earth from somewhere else. The beings on this ship were great in stature and highly advanced in knowledge and wisdom. Finding the earth suitable to their anatomy, they decided to live here for a time. To this end, they enslaved many of the beasts who walked on two feet and made them serve them. One of these beings, a female named Enlil, performed experiments on the beast, trying to make them more suitable for slavery. In her experiments, she mixed the DNA of her own species in with the DNA of the beast in order to improve them and expand their capabilities. Being successful, Enlil created as a hybrid the first two humans on earth. The rest of the beings were not pleased with this and they said the two humans should be destroyed. A great trial was held and they aimed to determine the fate of the new species. Almost all of the beings wanted humanity extinguished, but Enlil, having compassion, released the two humans while the trial raged on. When they noticed what happened, they went in search of the humans. Finding them after several months, the humans were taken back to the ship to stand trial and judgment. They were not worried though, because their child, who the beings did not know existed, was being cared for by the beast that walked on two feet. And so, the high priest told his daughter, this is where the first humans came from. The daughter sat there amazed. And so, the morning motivation of today is the origin of humanity. Today, family, I want you to consider that you are a creator of things. The very reality we live in is built by us and others. We create circumstances, situations, problems, and solutions. We take old things and make them new, and we take ideas and make them tangible. Be mindful, however, that once a thing comes into existence, that thing might wish to stay in existence. Turning off the switch to that situation might be easier said than done. So, as you go about today and create your own reality, be mindful of how your reality will affect others. Do that which you must, but also do that which is good. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see you, family. I'm out. Good morning.